Hey guys, how are you doing? So this is my fourth or fifth time trying to record this video and I keep messing up and restarting. So this is it. This is the last recording. I'm going to say what I have to say and if it doesn't come out right, I'm going to print it anyway <laughs> or post it anyway. So um, I just wanted to come in and let you guys know it's been a little while since I made a video, but something has been on my heart today. I have been under attack today. Um, spiritually, I have really been under attack. Um, uh, the enemy has tried to make me question, question everything, tried to plant seeds of doubt, tried to throw things uh, at me. Um, it seemed like at every turn there was something else being thrown at me um, today and even over this past week. And it seemed like the stronger I was in my faith, the harder he was trying and um he he tried to steal my joy really bad today and he thought he won he thought he won but but he didn't i'm still right here i still have plenty of faith plenty of faith let me tell you i sure do um so i just want to remind you that the 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 enemy is come to steal kill and destroy and he will steal your joy and he will kill you from the inside out if you let him and he will destroy you. So um, just know that whenever there's seeds of doubt in your mind, whenever he's got you second guessing, whenever he's got you feeling worthless, whenever he's got you feeling like maybe this isn't a good idea, but you know in your heart that it's something from God, he is trying to break you down and you cannot let him win. Uh, it, the more he attacks you, the harder he's attacking you. That is a sign that you were doing something right. So just stay firm. Stay put. Um, and I had to practice what I'm telling you myself today. And so here are a couple of, of verses that really, really helped me, that really, really stand out to me. Um, first, I'm going to start with this, that Thanksgiving coming up. So this is very important. Make sure you be thankful. If you wake up tomorrow with only the things that you thank God for today, make sure that you thanked him for everything that's true and dear to your heart. Make sure you thanked him for everything that he does for you. Otherwise, you could wake up with nothing tomorrow. So make sure you try to consider that as you're going to bed tonight and, and make sure you think about humbling yourself and get on those knees and, and, and thank the good Lord, um, for everything that he does for you. Cause let me tell you, um, the job, the, the car, the house, the, the clothes on your back, the food on your table, the shoes on your feet, all of that, all of that came from God. Even if you feel like he didn't directly give it to you, honey, he provided the opportunities for you to get it, for you to get it. Um, God made all of us and he made everything and he makes all things possible. So make sure that you're, you're giving the Lord his thanks and you're giving him his praise and his glory. It's very important. Don't be scared to get on those knees. Don't be scared. You know, every knee will bow. Every knee will bow. So start now so that when it comes that time, you'll look like a pro. Um, so here we go. We have Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And then we have Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 through 7. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, <laughs> let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. So always be thankful and do not be fearful. It is very important. The Bible says 74 times, fear not, fear not. It's very important, very important. When God has placed us on a path, fear creates doubt and doubt 
creates loss of faith. You have to stand strong on your faith. You have to believe. You have to believe. It's very important. Okay? And so then we have Romans. No matter what gets thrown at you, no matter what. Uh, um, Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose, which means that anything negative that the enemy tries to throw at you, God can make it work for the good for you. So always keep that in mind. You have to stay strong. You have to stay in the word. You have to stay, stay, stand firm in your faith. Like um, he caught me slipping. I had not been reading my Bible. I'm always praying. I'm always talking to the Lord um, and, and, and everything, but he caught me slipping. I hadn't been in my Bible like I was supposed to be in. Well, he really pulled out the stops today. But let me tell you what, I still got my God on my side and, and, and I'm still strong. I'm still standing firm. You know, it says, if you have even the faith of a mustard seed that you, you can move mountains. And I'm telling you, my faith is definitely bigger than a mustard seed. And he's not, he's not getting me down. That's for sure. <clears throat> Okay, so we have Psalms chapter 34, verse 4. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. That one right there. Let me tell you. I'm going to read that to you one more time. One more time for those of you that the devil has been getting at. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. So that's what you got to do. It says it right there in Psalms chapter 34, verse 4. <clears throat> we also have another one, Rome, Romans chapter 15, verse 13. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. So... Always keep hopeful for the future and keep the faith that God will deliver. He stands firm on his promises and he does not lie. He cannot lie. So if it's something that the good Lord has placed you on, placed in your path and, and has made it, made it clear, then you stand on that. It will look completely impossible here in the natural but all things are possible for God. He is supernatural. You know, he can do it all. So make sure you just, you have to have faith. He can't do anything for somebody that doesn't believe. So you have to believe and stand strong in your belief and hold on to him and he will hold on to you. That is very important. Very important. John chapter 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you that ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And um, so there we go. Be not afraid is mentioned 29 times in the Bible. And I know I've read some of these just the other week, but these, these verses are wonderful. If you're if the good Lord's under your, if the enemy is trying to attack you and trying to catch you while you're down, these are some really, really great scriptures to read. Um, we have Psalm, Psalms chapter 50, verse 15, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. So when you do call upon the Lord to help you, Make sure you give him all the glory. Make sure you give him all the glory. And last but not least, Psalm 62, 2. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. And I will not be moved either. I hope that you won't either. Just stand strong, stand firm, and, and, and stay in the word. Stay in the word. 
don't don't be afraid to to get on those knees and and say a few words to the good lord and thank him for everything he's done for you and i just want to leave that with y'all i hope y'all have a lovely night and um i hope you have a blessed thanksgiving i hope that um i don't even know <laughs> i'm so sorry um, I hope that you guys have a blessed Thanksgiving, a blessed holiday, and you get plenty of time with your family. Um, make sure uh, that you you remember to be thankful. Remember to be thankful for everything, everything that you have been given, because you could wake up tomorrow without any of it. So make sure you you take the time to thank the good Lord for what he's done. And um, don't forget that God loves you. Jesus loves you, and I love you too. And you guys have a great night. Bye.